Maybe we can wait for the ring yeah. yeah. in. Yeah, if you're you in, you know what I mean? Call someone out. Um, obviously, going into your fight in a big arena, it's your first time, Sheffield Arena, thousands of tickets have been sold. Mm -hmm. Do you ever think about that? Like, do the nerves kick in when you think about it? Because that is a big deal. Like, I get nervous before doing interviews. This is like, okay, I'm fighting in a big arena with yeah. your family, your friends watching, fans watching. And you know what social media is like, how clips can be thrown about. Does that yeah. come into your head? I think I'll be nervous on the night, for sure. I, I don't think I would be human if I'm not. But I just really want to get in there and focus on the fight. And, you know, I, I never really pay attention to what people or fans say, especially if it's negative, because, you know, at the end of the day, I've just got to do what makes me happy and what I'm comfortable with. So obviously, you know who's on the card. Is there any fights that you're looking forward to yourself out of everyone? I'm very looking forward to the, to the Slim and Ryan. I think, right. I think a lot of people are. <laughs> What's your prediction for that? Slim's going to absolutely batter him. Slim's got revenge in his eyes. I think he's yeah. really going to batter him, yeah. So we just had a prediction from Anthony Taylor and he's yeah. said the opposite. I, I, really? agree. I agree with Astrid though because there was realistically there was no need for Slim to take this fight because he'd fought on the other event yeah, and, and people awesome. were talking about him fighting, you know, the soul puppies. And for him to go to Ryan Taylor, he did not need to do it. So I think there's genuine like oh, it's revenge yeah, in his it's heart. So personal, yeah. It is. But in my opinion, that's what's making the fight. That's what's sort of kind of a lot of people are saying that it should be the main event. It should be sort of like the main, the main prospect. Yeah. But in my opinion, if it's not personal, which evidently between you and Keely it is, mm -hmm. sometimes it makes the fight a little bit too nice yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah. And there's a little bit of spice. I'm like, oh, do you know what? This, this is a bit tasty. This is yeah. a bit juicy <laughs> now. So I, I, like, I agree. With you. I mean, I feel I feel like the, the two most personal fights it is that fight, Ryan v Slim, mm -hmm. and then you v Keely. Yeah. I mean, Definitely. you and Keely. I mean, that's been back and forth for a while now. Yeah, do you think after this fight, you two can squash the beef? I thought, no, we've had a fight now. We can mm -hmm. put this beef to the side. From from my half, yeah, I think so. I think once this is why we're fighting, isn't it, to kind of squash the beef? I can't speak for her. She's already said she doesn't ever want to see me again after this fight. So I don't know if it will still be like that afterwards, but we'll just see, won't we? It's crazy. It's crazy. When when you think about stuff like that as well, it's just like because obviously both of you have sort of come from the receive hate from each other and everything that's going on. Like, how have you dealt with? Obviously, the hate on social media, the judgment, the, like you said, the judgment from her in regards to what you do as well. Like how's has that come into effect of your preparation or anything like that? Honestly, I've just learned over the past year of doing social media, people are going to say something no matter what. I could do a cartwheel and get hate for it. So you just have to do what makes you happy. If I'm comfortable with doing something, the key might not be. I know she made a little dig at me doing OnlyFans or something. That's fine. That's not her cup of tea, but. That's what I'm going to do, that's what, that's what makes me happy. I don't want to listen to anybody else's opinion. You sound like you're sticking to your guns, that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the most important. In regards to Saturday night, mm -hmm. do you have any predictions? For myself? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't really know, I've never fought before, so I literally don't know how it's going to go. Uh, I do think I'm going to win, but I can't tell you exactly what round, what's going to happen. I do think I'm going to knock her down, and I think I'm going to win. Okay. But other than that, I don't really know. So there's going to be a knockdown, it's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. <laughs> I hope so anyway. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, like I said, I think with it being your first fight, it's, it's hard to have that sort of kind of education around boxing. Yeah, exactly. It's good that you're not coming in with that arrogance and that sort of like pretending that you know what you're doing. Mm. But the fact that you're getting in the ring, very brave on my hand, because I might even say to Zayn, I, I wouldn't personally. Really? There's, yeah, there's, there's, there's not enough money in this world to get me in there. <laughs> yeah, I like watching my ring, so, yeah. so it's, um, it's, it's been props. So. Um, in regards to sort of kind of TikTok and stuff like that, do you have any plans obviously after the boxing with social media in general or just to carry on doing what you're doing? Just carry on what I'm doing really. Like I said, if I win, there will be more fights upcoming. But in regards to everybody else on TikTok, there was obviously that little group of people, like it was me and a few other creators. I've kind of taken myself away from that. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing my own thing. It's become quite a toxic platform on that side, so I do. I have seen a lot of people take themselves away from the drama. But do you think because of how involved you was, that sometimes you're never going to get away from it? Possibly, um, but to be honest with you, I don't really see that many comments about it anymore. I think people have realised that I've wanted to break off from that. So I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm at and just doing what I'm doing. Cool. Fair enough. So guys, obviously me and Zayn are hammering, obviously, Astrid with questions. Do you guys have any questions in the chat that you'd like us to ask her while she's here? Please let us know it and we will ask her as well. Uh, and we are waiting for Keely to join us as well, which could potentially get a little bit spicy. We know that Keely wasn't happy about it, but this is into boxing and we don't listen to people. <laughs> <laughs> do what you want to do. How do you feel about that with her coming to sit down and stuff like that and having a chat? 
I mean, I know she's not been very keen about doing lives and doing things like that, and, and she made a point of she didn't want it to be bitchy and, and things like that either, which is totally fine, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's got to be done, isn't it? You well, can't, you've got to promote the fight. Yeah, you, know, you can't not see the person you're about to get in the ring with before the fight. But maybe so. that's her nerves speaking out loud, that she's thinking if I sit here and let my emotions get the better of me, is that going to give us the advantage? So yeah, I don't know, essentially. Yeah, I know. I mean, we're going to have to wait until final to see everything. everything <laughs> I'm excited. Happens. I'm excited. Obviously, like, nobody wants to see anyone get hurt, but at the same time, everybody wants to see everybody get hurt. Yeah. So it's, it's, it, it, it's a hard one, but yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I'm you've like, got to think, me and Keely, you know, we're not professional boxers. She's a TikToker, I'm a porn star, you know. We're not, <laughs> <laughs> we're not boxers. So we're getting in that ring with no head guards, 10 ounce gloves. It's going to be fruity and, yeah. you know, something bad could happen so yeah we just, I, I get why anybody would be nervous about it but we've just got to do well, our you're best you're both stepping in the ring yeah. you've got my respect to you exactly for Thank me you. anyone that steps in the, in the ring I think Mate. it's an automatic respect because there's so many people that can talk online and talk hate on you but could they step in a ring with thousands of people watching? I don't think. We turn out clubs. Maybe fourteen hours. Maybe. So, yeah, yeah. Not so. yeah. Or we we'll go on some pillows. I don't know. Pillow fight. I mean, obviously, it didn't go ahead. You were meant to have a fight with Elbow, which didn't go ahead. But obviously, that gave you some previous training and stuff. Do you think that comes to your advantage on the night? Do you think you have some advantages over her because obviously you've trained before? Yeah, I, I did train before, uh, but during the summer, after that fight fell through, I took the summer off. I was like going to festivals. I was drinking. So when I come back in September. Although I would have had that baseline kind of knowledge, I do think I started a camp from scratch, had to get my fitness back up, fine-tuned everything that I'd already learned. But Keely also does have the weight advantage. So I do think, tipping up the scales, we've got a fair fight. She's got the weight advantage. I've had a little bit more training. It's going to be an entertaining fight, I hope. So you're probably going to be expecting these questions, but I'm going to ask them anyway. Mm -hmm. Obviously, after taking the summer off, finding yourself exceptional, mm -hmm. would you let the opportunity happen again if Elbrook wanted to fight? Absolutely. I, I've said this whole time, Elbrook wasn't the issue. I'd fight her any day, but the whole card, the whole kinking thing was just a shambles. It, it was so unsafe. It was run by clowns. It was just not a comfortable position for me, which is why I said, um, you know, how do you feel this time coming up? Do you feel more nervous? It's done the complete opposite. I feel so looked after. I feel so prepared. And, even down to the little things like the medical, with that you know I had to go get an MRI, blood tests, eye tests. None of that was ever mentioned with King Kim. They were just like, yeah, just going going to ring and fight. That was literally it. So yeah. I felt really uncomfortable with that, which is obviously why I left. Um, but this one, yeah, I feel so much more confident. Exactly. No, because there was a lot of controversy around that one because that fight, obviously, you had the press conference. Oh, did some stuff which is a bit questionable about the whole confidence stuff. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine that put you off. Mm -hmm. And also, she was, she, had, she has a big presence, as in she is when she talks, she says the worst things you could possibly say. Yeah. And a lot of people were saying that you got scared. No. Of that. It, yeah, it wasn't. I wasn't scared of her at all. It was more like when she brought out the coffin. It wasn't the fact that she'd done it. I wasn't scared by that. It was the fact that the company had allowed her to do that, especially after the day before. Um, it was an African boxer who just died after being in a coma from boxing or whatever. I just thought the whole thing was really disrespectful. She didn't apologise, Kingman didn't apologise, and it just, just wasn't something I wanted to be associated with. So I, like I said, I would fight Elbrook any day, it would just have to be on the right card, I don't think I would ever go back to Kingman. Yeah, next Misfits card in January. <laughs> I don't yeah, see a lot know. of people saying no to that one at all because at the end of the day, I think having sort of like, like female fights on the card is such a inspiration for a lot of girls your age, mm -hmm. Keely's age as well, to actually think, you know what, why can't I start boxing? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Right guys, so we are going to introduce our next guest and I can sure you can guess who it is. <laughs> Please, can we say hello to Keely coming to sit down? Hello, mate. Hey. Hi. Can I just walk through, can yeah, you? you're all right. You're all right. How are we? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good. Appreciate you coming down. <sighs> Stressed? No, not really. I'm just fine. Oh, <laughs> so obviously, um, the first thing that we're going to start with is we're going to ask how the camp's been going. How are you feeling about obviously the lead up and the lead up to the fight, and obviously how are you feeling about your opponent right now? Okay, um, so the camp situation has been very difficult to be honest, so I was down in Kent for a week, then I had to go up to Leeds for a week due to 
some family things with my boyfriend. Then I had to go to my university for two weeks. Um, so I haven't had like a set camp, so I've had different trainers as we go along, which I know is not the best. But obviously, I can't control that. Like I needed to get to uni because they're messaging me already. Like, why are you not attending? Um, but yeah. So, but I still feel confident. But who knows what's going to happen on the night? You just have an idea. Yeah, I mean, obviously you've gone through a lot of stuff, as in you have to do your uni, you've been travelling place to place. How are you feeling mentally going into this fight? All right, to be honest. I mean, I was never good from the start. Like, I've always struggled. Um, so it's not really much different to what I've always felt, really. Do you think that boxing has helped that in a way, mentally, with your mental health? Nah, not really. It's stress? <laughs> no, it's not even that I'm stressed. It just don't make me happier, like, exercising. Like, after, I just feel worse when apparently it should be another way. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Well, so obviously to touch on that, like if, if obviously that's the case of how it's made you feel, it hasn't sort of kind of increased the mental health situation, how come have you taken the fight? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to have an answer for that. Um, I mean, I don't know, it's like different, isn't it? It's a really it good opportunity, so obviously I didn't want to turn that down. Uh, yeah, I think that's it, really. But it could be a good inspiration for a lot of people at like your age, especially if you're having some uni, obviously work, etc. Oh, yeah. He's oh, like yeah. in boxing, the Sheffield Arena as well. Yeah, yes, it's, it's anyone who's not been uni, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No excuses to actually get your essays done. Yeah. If she can do a camp, go to uni and still turn up here, then it's uh, she's putting everyone else to shame, yeah, exactly. to be quite honest. I mean, obviously, with your opponent, Astrid, I was talking to her about it. You, you two used to get along, you've collabed together in the past. I mean, she said her side of the story of why you two don't get along anymore. What's your side of the story? What happened? Well, it is, to be honest, mainly to do with my dad. So some of it's, well, most of it's, to be honest, not to do with me, but obviously I've got to sleep by my dad. And I feel like if dad don't like someone, I don't. I'm like that, my mum, I like that. Yeah, family first, always. Yeah, that's, that's actually it. Do you feel like after the fight happens, obviously after everything that's happened, is there an opportunity for you guys to just squash the beef, leave as it is and then obviously go your separate ways? Or well, do you yeah. feel like that's always going to be on no, that? No, okay. I don't think I'll keep the beef. Like, what's the point? Like, I'm old enough now. Like, after the fight, if she wins, you know, I'll shake her hand, say well done to her, maybe get a rematch in. Maybe. <laughs> um, you seem a lot more relaxed in comparison to earlier. Do you feel like you've had just time to... Sort of, kind of like I've been taking a step Harry backwards. Potter. Okay, <laughs> I get that. I haven't that, watched that. it before yet, so. You yeah. haven't watched Harry Potter before? No, so I'm now watching it, so it's quite fun actually. Fair enough. And this is a question for both of you. Obviously, like we said, this might be one of the most personal fights on the card. This fight, is it personal for you or is it just business? To be honest, it's just business. Like, obviously, she's not my favourite person in the world, but last time I used the word hate, and I don't really hate anyone, to be honest. So, yeah. Really changed her tune. I was gonna say it was so early, you know. Weird. I've calmed down a bit. Do you think she's changed her tune because she's in front of you, or do you think it's just she's calmed down the nerves from before? I think possibly calmed down. I don't know whether she might have realised that before it was coming across a little bit crazy, and that that's not really how you want to come across with boxing. Um, I always said didn't really understand the personal issues, but I have said I do understand you stand by your dad. Um, it's just a shame that he's a bit of a creep. I mean. What's your response to that? How could your dad agree? The fight's between me and her, innit? I don't need to get my dad involved. Fair enough. No, so. I'll that. So, guys, if you have got any questions for, Chili, uh, for Keely in the chat, please let us know. <laughs> She's got Harry Potter in my head now. Um, please, obviously, let us know, because obviously you wouldn't mean saying you can sit here and speak for hours, but it's about you guys. Make sure that you like and you subscribe to the Into channel as well, and uh, we will just continue until your questions come in. So let's just get back to that because I, I heard what you lot were saying earlier and I even said to Zayn, I was like, bro, I don't think I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like obviously there was a lot of pressure, you had your trainers around, obviously you both had just sort of kind of had your live workout. Do you just feel like the adrenaline took over the, the verbal side of things or? Well, I just go up and down all the time on my anger side because I've got ADHD. So sometimes I'll be like really angry and I'll start shaking and I'll say things I regret and then other times, you know, I'm quite chill. And do you know I'm happy? We should have probably um, interviewed her earlier. Yeah, yeah, you have got a bed. Yeah, yeah. do, do you regret what you said earlier then? No, not really. Okay. Uh, because Some things I'd regret, but not earlier. I don't think that was that hard. Yeah, I mean, 
what are your thoughts? Like, what she said earlier is an is fine thoughts, but yeah. I feel like if they get it personally talking about each other's body, physiques, mm -hmm. how do you feel about that one now? She thinks you don't take it back. I mean, ultimately, I'm an OnlyFans follower, so I get critiqued on that every single day. So words don't really hurt me. It literally doesn't matter what anybody says to me. We're in a fight. We want to put on an entertaining fight, like I said earlier. We're not professional fighters. Don't expect Anthony Joshua versus Fury. <laughs> it's just going to be entertaining. And like I said, there's a lot on the line. 10 ounce gloves, no head guards, anything can happen. Just excited to get there and show everybody what is What is on the line? Can I just ask? Because I'm not being rude. I just wanted to know what you think's on the line. Well, it's, if it's not an easy fight. Like I said, there's no head guards, 10 ounce gloves. It's quite dangerous, you never know. You might come out with a broken nose, I might come out with a black eye. It's not oh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mean like our titles or, or like our social media on the line. It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. you know, health wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Never know. Does that scare you that obviously part of your job is your image? Mm -hmm. So if she breaks your nose and gives you a black eye, like you, what do you mean? I don't. I will go. Isn't it? Be, well, yeah, it will heal. I'm not. I'm not bothered. I think you know if, if that happens, then that shows we've had a bloody good fight. So I think that that would be a good thing. If we if we come out without a scratch and none of us barely hit each other, then it wouldn't be an entertaining fight. Okay. So guys, we've got a bit of a technical issue at the moment, but we are going to be back in five, so please make sure that you don't go anywhere because there's going to be some juicy content to come forward. Can they not hear us? <laughs> no, there's a, there's a sound delay of like 12 seconds. Okay. Oh. So, not, sorry, 1.2 seconds, so we're just going to pull it back for a break. Because it's not like instinct. Yeah, that was everything. I can't watch a movie or anything. No, 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 no,
If you're just tuning in, we're here with Keely and Astrid, and we're going to be talking to them about their fight on Saturday night. It's yeah. a juicy one. Even though it was juicy earlier, but it got a bit, it got a bit calm and collective now. Obviously, Keely's watched a bit of Harry Potter. <laughs> Astrid's watched. I don't know. I'm just chilling. Yeah, no. <laughs> so we obviously, like I said before, guys, if there's any questions in the chat, please try and keep them PG, as we are trying to respect the fighters. But like I said, we will try and ask what we can. Um, but please drop some questions down in the chat. I mean, Keely, so we asked Astrid her prediction for the fight. She's confident she can get the win. What is your final prediction in front of Astrid for the fight? Mm, I reckon I'll win on I don't think either of us will knock each other out, to be honest. But I reckon I'd win. Mm -hmm. Still, Do you but feel then. Are you I think I agree. It's quite difficult for women, to, especially with our first night, to get a knockout. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to win. I do think we're going to knock her down, but not a knockout. Oof. God. Oof. <laughs> Oof. But, but like I said, I don't know. Uh, this is my first fight. I don't know what's going to happen. I feel confident. I feel prepared. But we will just have to see what happens on the night. Hey, it's ten ounce gloves. Like anything can happen with ten ounce gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys been training with ten ounce gloves? Yeah. I have towards the end. Yeah. I have. And how have you been finding getting hit with ten ounce gloves? Getting hit with ten ounce yeah. gloves. I mean, I had a male trainer that we sparred, and he gave me a bit of black eye even. Oh really? Is that so, with headgear on as well? No. Oh wow. I don't okay. spar in headgear. No, okay. Yeah. Uh, What's uh, the point if we're not going to be using headgear? Mate, I'd be sparring in headgear. Are you kidding me? No job. No, yeah, I've been fighting ten hours after. Obviously, it's much more power. Yeah. Feel it a lot more. I mean, I started first, like when I first ever started training with fourteen hours, but we moved over to tens, and they just feel like bullets. Like they go so fast, it's insane. So, yeah, I do feel like you feel the impact a lot more. It feels like big cushions with fourteen, like fourteen ounce gloves. But yeah, ten hours are insane. They feel super quick. So we asked Astrid this question, win or lose, what do you feel is next in the boxing world for you if there is anything that you want to do after that? Yeah, nothing. Really? So this is just one fight? I, I've never really wanted to box. I mean, obviously I did say that I'd want to box her, but I think I said that without thinking how lazy I am that I can't be bothered to do a camp. <laughs> so you think obviously so... that's going to affect the performance as well from your end, obviously not? Well, it could do. I don't know. Do I? We'll wait and see. <laughs> Yeah. Are you playing mind games or have you had like a really good camp and you're just pretending not to be? Okay. Fair enough. I mean, there's been a lot of back and forth for months and months. Now it's come down to on Saturday night. Now you're in front of each other. Tell me, what's your final words to Astrid? Good luck. It's <laughs> short and simple. What's your final word? Uh, I think good luck, but I do think you're going to regret calling me a bitch. So. Oh, is that, is that too harsh for you? It's not too harsh at all, but I can call you something else if you want, but actually no, better not, better not. <laughs> <laughs> I think the guys want it. Um, yeah, I'm not bothered, <laughs> words don't hurt me, but... I do think... I so think why would I regret... Around. That's alright then, you'll be fine, won't you? Mate, why are you scared in the middle right now? I feel like you're about to kick off. So obviously, I've kind of got like a bit of a vibe from both of you that you're not really looking forward, where a lot of the other fighters know who they want to fight next, calling them out on a regular basis. Is it just a payday for you two, in that case, if you're not looking past boxing? Absolutely not. When I was offered to go on Kingpin, it was double this paycheck. But I turned that down because it just simply wasn't right for me. I didn't feel comfortable with the way that it was run. This, for me, is more about the opportunities. Being able to even fight on it is such a privilege. Um, and, yeah, for it to move on to other bigger and better fights. And for yourself? <laughs> I mean, it is a great opportunity, but obviously I don't do any fans, so I don't get as much money, and I want to buy myself a new car. Fair enough, Jesus. That's what I do. Well, no, no, it's just no, serious. Yeah, like, that's the way to no, get money, yeah, exactly. So, if but I haven't, I'm not, I don't think I'm planning on doing it. So so I thought, you know what, I'll box and then get the fucking car. Like, do you think, like, Kiwi looks down on the OnlyFans? Well, she says she doesn't, but in your opinion, the way it comes across, do you think she looks down on what you do? Oh, I mean, she's made a few comments. I don't think any woman should put someone down. Just, like, I'm comfortable with doing what I'm doing. That it doesn't mean Keely is. That's fine. That's my life decision. She did tell me once, she was a bit drunk, that she wanted to be in the fifth one. I did. Video. I did say that, so, actually. That is true, guys. I remember saying that. Well, so, come on, whoa, 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 whoa. This is back when she liked me 
Uh, yeah, we went out drinking in Nottingham, but she said she wanted to be in the fifth one up video. So I don't think she can really look down on any fans that yeah. much. Fez. I did say that. Do you know what? We all do say stupid shit when we've had a drink. So Is it stupid? Oh. Maybe I wanted to. Well, wow, you've heard it here first, folks. Does Keely want to fuck me? I don't know Is what's that going on. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Alright, listen, I'm a woman. I'm a halal Muslim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am married. I am bloody married. Oh, I don't know what's happening right now. So I'm gonna ask that question. Would, you, would, would, would you would you collab in that sense? You've obviously spoke about it drunk. <laughs> not now, but I don't. I do not I think so. We're gonna do it. Yeah. But I mean, back then I was like. Actually, no, I'm just going to stop talking because this is just going to turn weird, isn't it? Oh, this is taking. I can't make this. I, 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 can't, yeah, but I, can't I can't say I didn't. Like, I can't say I didn't say it because I did. I know I did. I remember. I'm not going to lie about it. Everyone, my dad heard it, my boyfriend no, do, do, heard do, do, it. Do you know what they say? Do you know what they say? All best friends used to hate each other before. Yeah. I feel like you two could get along really well. Like, <laughs> Can you know? imagine that tabloid is just that uh, once fighting and then on no, the corner? Do you know what yeah, I mean? No. I don't think that will happen. Is it? Christian Hamby's in the chat. Oh, Christian Whoa! Drop your Christian, talk to us. Yes. We want to know how you feel about. Obviously, Swarm's pulling out the fight. Uh, is there anyone else that you were looking at fighting? Like, it must be quite disappointing from you because obviously we know that you fought on obviously Deji's card and you're going to be fighting on this one. Do you have a question for the girls or for me and Zayn or for anybody that you want to call out as well? Big up Christian Hamby yeah, in the chat. You know, I actually, he's the one that does the pranks, right? With his family. I always yeah. sit on oh no, I'm going to sound like such a bum lick. But I actually always, I just love watching him, like with his um, younger sister, they're just quite fun to watch on Facebook. Chat want a face off. Girls? Well, it's all up to a girl. Have we got room? And me and Zane can get out of the way, but it's just up to you <laughs> lot, do you know Stay what I mean? in the middle. Yeah. I mean, do, do, do you want a face yeah, off? Yeah, girls, if any of you land me, you know what I mean? I'm not going to like try and attack her. I think I, I think stick to the question, you know. I think face off is yeah, happening yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, true. Yeah. We've got tomorrow for that. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we yeah. can leave it to the press conference. I'm yeah. sure we can leave it. Yeah, as much as we're guys, if you genuinely obviously want that, then you know that you need to tune in tomorrow and make sure that you don't miss any of the press conference. Obviously, we appreciate the girls coming out and answering all the questions as well. But can't give you everything. You've just <laughs> found out Keely wants to go on Pornhub, so like, you've, got, you've got enough. So yeah, but um, girls, obviously, just from my end, I want to say thank you for coming down. Thank we completely understand you've got a busy schedule. Nerves. Harry Potter, yeah. you know what I mean? So obviously that's, that's, that's all yeah. from me, Zane. Yeah, no, thank you for your time. We're excited for Saturday night. Yeah. And like we said, we'd love to see both of you. Shake hands and listen to watch this beef. But yeah, best of luck to both of you. Thank Any last words for each other before we go off? Yeah, just good luck again. Yeah, that's it, really. Cool. I feel like this interview's been so up and down. Yeah, mate, I, I, <laughs> feel, me, I, I feel quite emotional. You know, that's the thing. One minute I'll be like so angry and like, you know, texting and be like, you and then the next is it just like, like yeah. it's like when you're like texting your boyfriend and girlfriend the whole way saying it's like i love i still love you That's oh i'm really the worst for that also oh. boyfriend he hates it really so yeah so guys don't go nowhere obviously we're going to say uh goodbye to the lovely ladies and let them get back to the hotels but we are going to be bringing on mr parsons eddie hearn's favorite little boy and we've got louis the interview cameraman coming on as well so stay tuned ladies we appreciate it thank, thank you so, so much, much for thank you. Thank you. no worries Enjoy. cool can you just tell people where to watch the press conference and the weigh in? Live on the It's on your YouTube, isn't it? Hello. Uh, you can watch the live press conference on my YouTube and on Design, and the fight is on Design on Saturday. Cool.